Hello everyone and uh, welcome to re-entry. In this video I will be trying to record a session from the new and upcoming uh, Apollo VR implementation. So as you know I have deprecated the old preliminary implementation uh, that I started on a couple of years ago um, and uh, moved that to a, de a dedicated branch on Steam accessible from the properties and Steam uh, betas tab. Uh, you can access the old implementation from there. And then I rebooted everything and started from scratch. So uh, initially I released uh, Project Mercury, uh, and then I've uh, I released uh, Project Gemini in the previous update, and now I'm working on the VR implementation for Project Apollo. Uh, it's important to know that VR is still a post 1.0 feature, uh, meaning that this is just me uh, trying to get started and uh, uh, getting uh, the current implementation on par with the old deprecated uh, uh, version. So uh, with that, I'm currently now sitting inside the Apollo command module. Uh, I'm in orbit around the moon and uh, I'm currently recording this using a very strange setup. So I'm rendering on the same computer as I'm recording and I have to record through an uh, uh, Oculus Mirror application. So uh, the recording isn't great, uh, but hopefully you will be able to see uh, the most important features. Uh, I will be try to be very brief on this video and just cover uh, some of the basics that I've been working on. So first of all, you have your hand controllers. Uh, you have the radio communication button here, uh, uh, the rush button uh, with the radio communication UI. And then uh, you can uh, hit Roger either using the laser pointer and the trigger uh, button, or I bound this to the left uh, button, uh, the left hand controller's buttons, in my case X. So if I hit X now, you can see that um, it uh, uh, gets removed as I press Roger. If I now request another uh, radio check, using the left pointer, you can see that now up again. I can hit Roger and it will be removed. The same applies for a mission pad. I can toggle this on and off using the Y button on the left controller. Uh, you can see that uh, it works in a very similar fashion to the one that you used to in uh, uh, the normal uh, flat mode. I have a mission page, a briefing, I have a map, and if you click the map, you can drag around and you can see that I'm currently on. Uh, see if I can find this. Okay, oh yeah, we're on uh, around the moon. Okay, yeah, so basically uh, I'm now uh, in orbit around the moon and I can scroll uh, all the way to the left. You can see the, uh, the red icon there, which is the command module and the lunar module is in its uh, separate orbit uh, following uh, the my trail, basically. Uh, the other one I've added is the lists, so we can Go ahead and uh, in this case, I'm going to go to here. Um, and I'm going to hit run. You can see, uh, once I hit run on checklist, the highlight show which I want to. And if I click on this, you can see that the checklist guidance system is working as it used to. Uh, next, uh, if I now go into the transcript, you can see the radio communications that have been done so far. Then I've added this new uh, VR tab that allows me to set time scale. Uh, you can change the different views. So uh, you can move to the center seat. By just pressing these buttons. Uh, I can also switch to the lunar module, but I've also added uh, on the, the left thumbstick, you have uh, the uh, option to kind of move in the direction that you're looking. This is just so you can micro adjust uh, your current seating and views to be able to reach the different controls, switches and panels here. So you can see that I can stri strafe left or right and this will follow the direction of my head. So if I look this in this direction, you can see that strafing will move me uh, in the correct direction uh, relative to my head. The same applies to forward and back. I can move forward, move, maneuver around, reach everywhere by just 
getting into uh, different views. Uh, this allows us to be able to, for example, do the docking maneuvering. Uh, right now I've moved my head so it feels quite okay and you can further adjust it. Uh, the big problem now is that if I want to translate, I'm stretching my hands all I can now, I can barely reach the hand controllers. So if I move a little bit down, I added support for you to grab the hand controllers and you can maneuver around, uh, uh, change your attitude and then perform translations by just grabbing these uh, with a grab button on each controllers and then twisting uh, your wrist. Uh, one uh, big problem is that, for example, uh, if I want to do docking maneuvering, I want to look out uh, the window at the same time, I couldn't reach this. So I added these little uh, features here. So I can, for example, grab this and I can tilt this up and then I can grab on this area. Let's see if I can have a wall in the, the way here. There we go. I can twist this little handle here to get this into a better uh, position uh, relative to where I'm sitting and the windows. So I can do the same for this one, and uh, I can uh, feel an haptic feedback every time I move into one of these colliders. And now uh, these are much higher up. Uh, this means that I can now get up into the coast view and I can sit this, uh, move this so it feels good. And I can still have my hands easily uh, uh, the controller is easily reachable for my hands. So um, the other thing that I want to cover is that I've added the flashlight. Uh, so if I move here, I can uh, grab this to toggle that it now uh, sits inside of my hand. And this works the, that you can just twist it to turn it on and twist it to turn it off. Same applies for uh, doing the, uh, if I now toggle the jukebox, I can, by just interacting with it, and I can grab it. You can see that these can also collide and interact a little bit with each other. Um, the last thing that I want to very quickly cover is the mission pad. This gives me access to uh, the most important radio communications and tools and the crew menu as well. So with that, uh, hopefully you get a, a brief introduction to how Apollo VR will uh, work and some of the new mechanics that I added, added to it. So thank you for watching.